Um, I was doing some repair work and I was replacing some tantalum capacitors and I had replaced them with ceramic ones and some people had comments. One was that ceramic ones were uh, sensitive to vibration. They're piezoelectric and they will generate some noise if there's vibration and stuff around. But uh, if you'd have a piece of lab equipment that just sits on the bench, unless there's maybe a lot of fan rumbling or there's an earthquake or something, <laughs> maybe you need to worry about it. But most of the time, most of the time you don't need to worry about it unless you're doing something like avionics or something where there will be a lot of vibration. Um, the other misnomer that people had was that um, tantalum capacitors have way better ESR than ceramic. That tantalums are in the you know milliohm range of of ESR, and that's not true. Well, it can be true, but it's it's a lot of times not true. And I want to show that to you today. So I'm going to show you a bunch of capacitors. I made up a little a little board here. I've got uh, a couple tantalums here in SMD. I've got a couple tantalums in dipped dip tantalum packages. And then I have a whole bunch of uh, ceramics, okay? Different sizes and different values, okay? So we're gonna measure these. And um, let's go ahead. Everybody kind of knows the, uh, the, dip, the dipped, uh, dipped tantalum. So let's measure, let's just measure one of those. Uh, let's see, the first one here we'll measure and bring it up. And so we are measuring about 10 microfarads and it is a 10 microfarad cap, okay? And then we'll make an ESR measurement on it and it's uh, 0.8 ohms. So 800 millo milliohms, 800 milliohms is not a few milliohms, it's 800 milliohms, okay? But that's still pretty, that's still pretty good, right? All right, so let's measure the next one here, uh, the one over, this is a dipped, a dipped tantalum also. All right, so I've gone over the next dip tantalum. It is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor, and we are measuring uh, uh, 2.1. Okay, fine. Um, let's measure the ESR of this one. And it's measuring 3.7 ohms. Now, 3.7 ohms is way, way far away from milliohms. And the capacitors that I was using in the video that I got the comment from, I was using one microfarad uh, capacitors, one microfarad tantalum capacitors, and they're going to be up around four or five ohms. Um, and so the ohmage of the ESR value of tantalum capacitor is heavily dependent on the value of the capacitor, how many microfarads the capacitor has. And so even though it's a tantalum, and yes, it has good ESR, it's not magical. And uh, all tantalums um, vary depending on their amount of microfarads, okay? And so uh, I have a whole, a whole bunch of them here. So let's go ahead and uh, look at a chart that I made. All right, so uh, these, are the, these are the two that we just looked at, uh, the 10 microfarads. So these are, uh, these are dipped. And uh, these are SMD. And these are ceramic. All right, so uh, like I said, two microfarad gave us 3.7. Now, if we take a look at the ceramics, here's a two microfarad ceramic. It only gave us 0.9 ohms, okay? So it's much, much better than the tantalum, all right? And here's a 10, got us 0.8 ohms. Do we have a ceramic 10? Well, here's a seven, it's 0.7 ohms. Here's a 15, it gave us 0.24 ohms. So, you know, it depends, the ceramics are gonna depend on their voltage rating and uh, the type of dielectric material that they're made out of and everything. So, yeah, so these things can vary all over the map. So, but in general, look at the ceramics. They go from uh, 15 microfarads seven, four, four, two, and they're all, you know, an ohm or better, right? Here's, this is a little, 3.9 gave us 1.3, 1.3 ohms, but they're all better than these dip tantalums. Um, and then if you go higher and higher in value, so these guys are really high values. This is 45 microfarads. This is 330 microfarads. They're the ones that give you the really low ohms. So these are probably the ones that people have in, in people's minds. They were used to, 
maybe a, a 300 microfarad capacitor giving you 140 mil milliohms. Yeah, these are these are really good numbers, but that's only because these are really, really big numbers, okay? If you're operating down here around the two microfarad range, expect to have a lot of ohms, right? And that's when the ceramics start shining. Uh, the ceramics are gonna do a much, a much better job down there. So anyway, uh, you know, Depends on what you want to do, whether you like tantalums or you don't, don't like tantalums. Uh, there is more to the story about different frequencies. These are all tested at one kilohertz. So at high frequencies, maybe some do better than others. Um, yeah, there's a lot to learn about capacitors, a lot more than people just off the cuff saying things. Um, so yeah, uh, tantalums aren't always the panacea. <laughs>